Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I'm over here. I'm Johnny B and I'm over here, but together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. So my SPQR campaign oh, update number shocker. three. That was a really brutal battle. I thought it was going to be a lot grindier than that, but it was over in two. <laughs> two over in two. <laughs> so, given the situation, a lot of, lot of damage. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. It is two surviving Romans over there. Yeah, look, they come in. They ran away. <laughs> oh, right. So it's not that they survived the battle so no, much they as they just ran away. It. Yeah, right. And Minimus Maximus is awoken from his, his, from his wonderful slumber. time off. With the so let's deal with the casualties first. So you've got... I 14. lost a full 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yes. 14 rolls to me. John's got 14 dead legionnaires. I've had to steal some of your dice. Let's you roll them all at once. Well, they're all yours, actually. I think well, yeah, they are, but you know. Oh, that's not bad, John. What have we got here? we got one, two, three, four. Four down. Whoops. So, four. Yeah, I knocked those dice <laughs> around. Mm. It's for so 10 get back up, mate. Can I be strategic here? Absolutely. Let's get, let's get Primus up. Yeah. Because they're awesome. Yep, yep. Let's dudes, get that whole lot dudes, up. Dudes, dudes, And then two and more. Then two more of those. Let's, let's add two back to Secundus. Two back. All righty. So four dead. Eh. So to come to the goals, um, it, as we were counting up the dead over here, there's an, uh, there's an astonishing bit of symmetry happened. Uh, yes, yeah, surprisingly. I, in, I lost my entire force, <laughs> but half of my force was nobody's man. They were just like tribesmen and stuff. Yes, yeah, so they didn't matter. So I seem to lose four from each unit type. So we're going to start with the tribesmen. So on a one or two, they're dead. Uh, so I lose three of the tribesmen. <laughs> oh. But one of them gets back up. Woo! Uh, and the next four are my nobles. Ooh, so these are my warriors with ones. chain mail, yeah. the expensive ones. Yay! Whoop, 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 whoop. Just can't put them down. So those four guys leap back up. And the last four are my uh, warriors in their trousers. Cheapest chips. And I lose two, two of those. So in terms of the money, John, you came into this battle with 129. You'd saved up. Yep. You'd saved up because you want to get some proper units. Um, you gain 187 this battle because that is 25% of my warband value, which was 747. <laughs> but you lose 10% of the money gain to pay off your mercenaries. Boom! So that gives you a total of 298 going into the purchases. That is That's a healthy a sum. Of cash. I mean, you lost a couple of dudes there, but it's a decent amount of cash. Nice. So this all takes a bit of time because we to go away and do some maths, yes. don't we, John? Yes, loads of thinking um, and stuff. So you had 298 denarii going into this. Yes. And what you've done with that, you spent 135 denarii on replacement legionaries. Yes, but I'm mixing it up a bit, mate. All right, okay, go for it. Because Secundus is going to stay at the five that survived, which is a minimum unit, and I'm going to add four to the prime. You go for that ten man unit. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try and do that. Going to yeah. give it a go. Um, and then you're going to spend another seventy four. I understand on some siege warfare equipment. I really want to try it out the scorpion. I've got the scorpion, yeah. Do the scorpion. Going to do the scorpion. That's seventy four. Leaving you with enough money for a hero, but we're going to come back to that later. Okey dokey. Alrighty. So that's the dice rolling done. So I've got to replace two warriors at 13 each, and I've got to replace three tribesmen at 10 each for a total of 56. 56. I had 249, less 56. I'm also going to make a small investment at this point. Uh oh. I'm going to invest in some war dogs. Boo! That's a really cool unit, though. That sounds uh, well, really it's, cool. It's, it's a Gallic thing, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to invest in that. Until we actually get hold of... Whoop! Waving a pen around. Until we actually get hold of some models mm. and get them painted, I can't quite be sure, but I think I'm just going to take a unit of five. Yeah. Because I think it's one dude and four dogs counts as a unit. Yes. And I think that's how they, how they come, come in, yeah. in the kit. In the kit. So I'm going to put a card up with the assumption that that's what that's I'm going to buy. Awesome. 
Um, I still want to get some cavalry. We looked at the Vitrix Spruce. They're all armoured. Yeah, that So I can't sucks. get cheap cavalry. Uh, so I think they're going to wait another battle before we get to see them again. Uh, before we get the chance to buy them. So I think they're my only purchases. Okay. 75 for the War Dogs. 15 a, 15 a dude. The dogs and the man cost the same. The That's inventory. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so 75 for the War Dogs. The rest I'm going to buy a hero like John. So let's have a look at the hero phase. Got ahead of myself a little bit there, actually. I am going to also buy a horn and a standard for my unit of You're nobles. gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna boo. do it, mate. Yeah. So there's another 15 there. That's for the nobles. That's for the nobles. Okie dokie. So, mate, hero phase. Hero phase. So, first it comes to leveling up. No, first we deal with the dead. Deal with the dead. Don't deal say that. <laughs> deal with the dead. Deal is not dead. Phallicus isn't dead. Is he not, though? Well, he might be. Now, also something that we forgot about last time was if you're uh, killed by another hero, it, your chance of dying is much higher. Oh, is it? There's a plus two modifier to this chart. I don't think it matters. Ooh. Um, but one hero was laying low. Well, hang on a second. What would a ten have been on that? I would still have been injured. Okay, so that's all right then, because that's what the result would have been modified <laughs> to. Right, okay. So Minus Maxus, he's okay. He's, he's recovered. He's fine, he's back. He's, he's, he's recovered. healed his bits, but old Phallicus here. Phallicus. Two, two dice. Two dice. And we're looking at a seven. A seven. Same again. A seven is injured. He's Missed missing the next, the next five. Boo! So he's not going to be involved. All right, and then looking at experience points, experience points are quite interesting because you get them for a number of different reasons. True fact. Minimus Maximus obviously doesn't gain any experience points. No, he was on he holiday. In the fight. He's on holiday with <laughs> Isabella the Dominant. Yes. Phoenix Magnus might have gained some fights, some, some points. He would have definitely gained some points. But I meant to say Phallicus, which is your Phallicus, game. yeah. So the three circumstances in which you gain XP. One, survive the battle without failing will to fight. No. <laughs> <laughs> two, every enemy unit he destroys or drives off. He killed two of your unit men. Not my men. unit, though. Every so no. level of enemy hero slain. Uh, no, he didn't even sniff a hero. That. So that's a, that's a zero, man. Boo! Boo! <laughs> He's useless. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> man, I can't believe what you did with You just I ran just, him into a I, unit I, of nobles. I really wanted tired. to take your nobles down. I, I just didn't expect you to get any wounds through. I know he's only got two wounds. He's got a threes up save. And mm -hmm. I really thought that... Two dudes, their two attacks are not going to hurt me. Four attacks. Two, four attacks, because it was two rounds, yeah. yeah. I didn't consider that. <laughs> <laughs> so Phallicus is useless. So as we move on to mine then, so start off with um, with the, the, the soldier's most hated uh, commander, Belendrix. Belendrix. <laughs> Belendrix. So Belendrix, the horse lord. He did good out of this. Well... So you get one XP for surviving a battle without failing a will to fight check. Did that check. One. One XP for every enemy unit he destroys or drives off the field. Which, was two. annoyingly, is two. Because he finished off Primus and he was part of Secundus being taken down. Boom. So that's three we're up to. <laughs> so that elevates him to level two. <laughs> level two against another wound. Boo. And another talent. Oh, mate. So, um, for the new talent we've had a look, he's going to take the Galloping Thunder. Using the speed of his horse, he rides down the enemy like wheat. If the hero unit gains the benefit of charging into close combat, the enemy unit being charged suffers minus one to its melee checks during this action. So okay. During so the charge, charge action, action, you're minus one to hit back. Potentially minus two if I fail that bravery check for buckle the line. From buckle the line. Absolutely. Mate, quite interesting then. Mm. So that was Belendrix. Up next. Who do you want? Phoenix? Phoenix Magnus. So Phoenix Magnix, he only had the one XP. He just gains another one for surviving a battle without filling a will to True. fight check. Belendrix stole his thunder. He did the lion's share of taking out Primus. And then last of all. Uh, Valak Skylight Oosh. also gains an XP for surviving a battle without losing a will to fight check. He was also part of the unit 
that destroyed Secundus. Was he? Yeah. Him and Belendrix were in the unit. So they joined the two unit, XP. so he gained two. Two XP. Ooh. It's not going to level him up, though, I don't think. And then we come to new heroes. New heroes. And on new heroes, uh, obviously, we're going to have to get some miniatures for this. Yes. But you're looking to get another... I'm keeping it real simple, you know. Yeah. I need some beat sticks. And you the, do. A, a semi-successful beat stick <laughs> is, not, <laughs> is not Phallicus, but it's <laughs> in fact Minimus Maximus. So again, I'm going to clone him. Yeah, and make another swordsman. Make another swordsman. Just with, the, with the legendary boring. gear. It's just, yep. He's yep. got chainmail, shield, sword, lethal two. Yeah. I need to keep it simple <laughs> and hopefully do something half decent. Righty ho. Well, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Um, because, you know, going in the. in the And, and you don't have a name yet. You're going to work on I don't on have that. a name yet. Yeah. Or a sort of theme for him either. But I've been, I've been saving a name. You've been saving a name. Because <laughs> I decided a while ago, I again need to lean into that Gallic theme. Yes. So I'm going to get myself a druid. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, so a druid is, is 45 denarii. Okay. I now have the option for dagger or sword are the are the only options. Oh, really? so I think I'm going to have to pay for the dagger. Okay. Uh, I think I think I need to pay for a dagger because I don't yeah, think they've least. got swords on the model. Yeah. So I think I'm going to pay for the dagger at 47 because I'm going to use that. You remember that Vitrix chariot we looked at? Oh, you got two lush sweet models. sweet druids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to get get them involved, and they're going to take the medicus. Talon. Nice. Which is going to give me the, not the Medicus support, but the healing hands thing. Yes. If I get injured. Yes. And the other one, I'm going to use the, the fate thing that allows me, I don't know what it's called. Oh, that was good, that one. It is called... Beloved by Fate. Beloved by Fate, is that what it's called, John? True fact. Page 43. Page 43. And what do I get? What do I get for First that? First skill is called Dicing with Fate. I like the sounds of that. Which is a passive one. Mm -hmm. uh, once per battle, uh, the hero can re-roll his Dice of Fate. Oh. Also, true fact, you can actually choose that up to three times. Really? Yes. So that's, that's a new one. I've not seen one mm. where you can multiply how many times you can take it. So yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Absolutely. So that that's what we're going to do. That's that's going to be my druid taking Medicus uh, healing hands. Yep. And dicing with fate from beloved by fate. Boom. I also realised that I didn't actually pay for all of the equipment on my on my horse lord because uh, I hadn't seen the model at that that's point. That's right. The model it. the model was in construction at the time. So I'm going to pay for the helmet and the shield. Yes. But, but I'm small shit. Yes. Not a large shit. Okay. So it's, it's not it's not about being gamey. It's, it's about, about the models actually having the equipment exactly. that they have. Uh, that's what that is. So okay. that's where we are going into the next battle. Right. We need to get some paint on, I think so. Get some paint on and we'll see you for round four in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks Woo! for watching. Bye-bye. If you're enjoying our SPQR content and thinking about getting involved yourself, do consider buying the starter sets from our website, modelingforadvantage.co.uk at 15% off. It's a great way of supporting the channel rather than just giving us money. Buy your models and we earn a little bit. Thank you.